Next year, I will start studying Spanish. Awesome! Great! I think you'll learn it. You'll pick it up very quickly. It's easy to visit countries around Brazil where people speak Spanish. So I will take advantage of that. Perfect. Yeah. It's a great way to learn another language is going to the country. And you, like you said, you have easy access living in Brazil. Got Spanish speakers all around you. So. Okay. <laughs> I have a couple of questions here. And you, prim you cannot see because of the effect. <laughs> I wish I could turn this off. Let me see if I can turn it off real quick. Can I? I can. Let me see. Off. Pro pronto. <laughs> I have a couple of questions here. But uh, instead of asking questions about this, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you when you are coming back to Brazil. Oh, that's a great question. It might be sooner than we think. If the elections, well, we don't know how the election is going to happen. That's what everyone is talking about right now here in the United States. And uh, tensions are pretty high, politically speaking, not to get political. But I'm just thinking to myself, like, ooh, maybe we'll have to uh, fuji to run away. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. Well, half joking. But... Um, I'm not sure. I don't have a plan. I don't have any set date. I don't have any tickets booked, but I would love to go back to Brazil. I would love to do a tour of the country and see more. Of course, I spent a lot of time in Rio, so uh, I love Rio and I'd love to go back, but I also know that I need to expand my horizons and visit more places. I'd love to go back to Fortaleza. That would be nice. Uh, Salvador, uh, Sao Paulo. Brasilia, like there's so many places to go. Manaus, Manaus is like top of my list. I would love to go visit the Amazon, but yeah, no plans right now. Okay, if you ever come to Ceará again, and if you want to visit Beberibe city where I live right now, you have a place to stay. You, Ben, and Max. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that means so much to me. And I might hold you I might hold you to that. I stand by what I say. Of course there is something in in that for me. I would be practicing English all the time around you guys. Exactly, exactly. So I, I would love that. <laughs> A lot of people will tell me that. People I know, people I don't know so well, or some everything in between. A lot of people are very generous and say, if you're ever in Sao Paulo, you have a place to stay, or whatever. And I always tell them, I might just hold you to it. Like, <laughs> I would <laughs> love that. I can tell you, Dorotea, that since I am a YouTuber, like you are, and that's how I make my living. Is that the way to say it? Yes, you said it perfectly. That's how I make my living. And that means I have time because I work with mathematics and it's pretty easy for me to record videos about math. It doesn't take a, a lot of time. It doesn't take going out places. So I can record like in one day, five or six videos. So I have content oh. for the next few days. Uh -huh. And that means if I had a friend coming from a different country to visit me, I would get my car and pick them up at the airport. Oh, I, I would do that. The best way to learn a language is talking to native speakers. If you would like to talk to an English native speaker, you can use Cambly on your phone or on your computer. You can use my link in the description below and you will get a lesson for free. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, leave your comment and share the video everywhere. I will see you next time. Bye.